Hello, this is Steve from the Fluorescent Flying Penguin. Today, I'm going to be talking about the EV3 touch sensor and what it does. So if you don't know what a touch sensor does, it allows you to figure out whether or not you've hit something. So, on the EV3 touch sensor block, it gives you two options, measure and compare. So right now, I'm going to show you measure. What measure does is it gives you a true or false reading, which tells you whether or not a button has been pushed. If the touch sensor has been pushed, then it'll give you a true reading. If the touch sensor hasn't been pushed, it'll give you a false reading. So what this program does is it acts as the touch, if the touch sensor has been pushed. If it has, it's, the program says yes. If it have it, the program just continues. So let me show you. As you can hear, the program works because I hit the touch sensor twice and it said yes twice. Okay, so the next option after that is called compare. What compare does is it gives you two more options, state and measured value. So what state is, is it gives you a chance to ask if the touch sensor is any of these three things. So the so number zero is, is the touch sensor not being pushed right now? Number one is, is the, the question is, is the touch sensor being pressed down right now? Number two is, was the touch sensor just bumped, which means pressed and then released? So what this program does is it asks if this is correct, and then it says yes if it's, if it's equal to this, and if it's not, it just continues. So let me show you. So this is bump, which means I have to press it, then release it. So I'm going to press it now. Yes. As you could hear, it said yes because I pressed and then released. Okay, so the next one is number one. So if I download and run this again, when if I press it, it'll say yes. But also, if I hold it down, it'll keep saying yes over and over because it's being pressed down. Let me show you. So I'm going to press it once now. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to hold it. Okay, so now there's one left, which is zero. So zero is going to keep saying zero over and over and over until I press the touch sensor, and then it'll stop saying zero. Let me show you. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yes, so right yes, now I'm yes, not pressing yes, anything. Yes, so yes, I'm going to touch yes, the touch yes, sensor yes, now. Yes. It stops saying yes because the touch sensor is no longer being released. Okay, now there's one more option called measured value. So what measured value does is it tells you which thing was, what happened. So it's the same as here. Zero is not being pressed, one is being pressed down, and two is being bumped. And then there's this thing on the top right which gives you the port. One, two, three, or four. And then there's another one called wired which you can use to just put in your port using a wire. Thank you for watching this episode of Programming with EV3. Thank you and goodbye.